Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 play. Today's matchup is between the Detroit Tigers and the Milwaukee Brewers at County Stadium. On the mound for the Tigers today is Brian Kelly, whose record is 2-0 with a 2.66 ERA. And pitching for the Brewers today is Fred Holdsworth, whose record is 3-6 with a 4.73 ERA. So we ended up sweeping the Yankees at Yankee Stadium. Incredibly exciting series, a big one. I was really concerned that we were going to take uh, a big L on the series. And yet we won all three. Uh, we stand now six and a half games up on New York. The game ends. I'm feeling great. And then what happens? Bert Blylevin out for 190 days with a broken back. His season is over. And that left us in a tight spot for uh, starting pitching. We do have a lot of really good starting pitching options in AA and lower, but nothing really in AAA. And so I've talked to you guys uh, and mentioned before that my plan was always to trade Andre Dawson um, somewhere for a starting pitcher. And the best option out there that I could find that was a reasonable price uh, was Joaquin Andahar. And we went ahead and made that deal yesterday. You see right here, Tigers trade Bruce Robbins. So the Tigers and Astros agreed to a five-player de deal that will send Andre Dawson and Bruce Robbins. Oh, and uh, our third catcher. Well, I mean, he's a double-A catcher. Dwight Lowry to Houston in exchange for Joaquin Andahar and catcher Rich Gedman. So a pretty big deal um, that we pulled off. One that um, may seem like it was, um, you know, because we were desperate, but it was the one that I've always planned on doing anyway. Uh, so we pulled the trigger now instead of waiting for later. Uh, we did end up saving $150,000 uh, in payroll, plus we got an extra $100,000 tossed in, um, which will cover the rest of Joaquin Andahar's uh, contract for this year. Uh, he is a free agent. We'll take a look at him real quick. He does go to free agency at the end of the season. So, um, you know, he's a, um, you know, we bought and paid for him to help us get to the playoffs. You know, he's a one and done basically for us. Uh, I don't know what he's going to be asking for for next year. I guess we can always click on expiring contracts. And he's going to be asking for one and a half million dollars. Yeah, that won't happen. He's age 30 and... Um, I don't know. I mean, we'll have to see how he plays out for us. I, I don't know if he's going to be good or not. Um, so if we take a look really quick at our bullpen uh, and our rotation, we basically just replaced Burt Blylevin with Joaquin Andahar. We're still stuck with Tom Filer and Brian Kelly as our fourth and fifth options. And then we have Jerry Uger, who couldn't even get it out in his last start. And Morris Madden, who was our top um, prospect on our team, who hasn't really panned out at the um, major league level. So if you look at our double A, we've got David Cohn, we've got Jeff Robinson, we've got Chuck Finley, Doug Drabick, Danny Jackson. So there's like our, our future five-man rotation right there. Uh, but none of them are ready for base for uh, the major league le level. And so we're probably, um, you know, won't, ha won't be counting on them uh, anytime soon. Taking a look at the lineup, we did get rid of um, Andre Dawson, who was a starter for us. So what that did was it opened up a spot for Kevin Bass to come back. Kevin Big Hit Bass, as we called him. Uh, he's not a rookie anymore. He got 300 at-bats last year. And in fact, in the playoffs, in the ALCS, he did really well. One of our better hitters in the playoffs, batted 353. And then uh, because of our um, excess of center fielders, he could not make the team out of spring training. So he's got great ratings, great defensively. He can hit. He's got power. He's got a little bit of speed. 
And he's going to be our um, platoon right fielder with uh, Glenn Wilson. So his lefties are in there. Glenn Wilson will play. And uh, Kevin Bass will be our right fielder uh, versus righties as he is a, a switch hitter. Chet Lemon, though, will now become our everyday center fielder. And um, we are paying him $700,000, so he's got to be playing every day. He has just been absolutely horrible with a sub-500 OPS. So uh, the other player that we got in that deal was Rich Gedman, who very well could be a starter for us in the future. Uh, he's got a great arm, an 86. He'd have the best arm on the team uh, if we had him in the majors right now. He's got a cup of coffee with Houston way back in our first uh, sim season. But we're going to start him off in double A and uh, see how that works out. So, okay, that is our situation. We had the day off in advanced. We got some of our bullpen arms uh, called back up from the minor leagues, and now we face Milwaukee at uh, County Stadium. Let's go ahead and get today's game started. As always, I appreciate everyone following along. Like and or subscribe to the channel, please. Brian Kelly on the mound. The current Brewer lineup has not faced him even once yet. All of the bullpen is available. I did send uh, Roger Weaver down for his 10-day uh, stint at AAA to kind of uh, curtail his usage. So we're, we've, we've got uh, Dave Smith back from the minors, and he's going to be our closer. Uh, if we need a right-handed closer, Dave Rucker, of course, is our lefty closer. And Cappy is back as well. So uh, let's take a look at the lineup we just kind of showed you against Fred Holdsworth, who's a righty. Um, it's going to be kind of our everyday lineup now versus right-handers with uh, Bass and Lemon in there. And Terry Kennedy's our go-to catcher, batting 360 uh, since we traded for him. Let's do the Tigers' official lineup rundown for today's game. Batting leadoff, playing second base, is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting second in left field is Ricky Henderson. Batting third and DHing is Kirk Gibson. Batting cleanup, playing third base, is Mickey Hatcher. Batting fifth, playing first base, is Eddie Murray. Batting sixth, playing shortstop, is Alan Trammell. Batting seventh, in right field, is Kevin Bass. Batting eighth, in center field, is Chet Lemon. And batting ninth and catching today is Terry Kennedy. On the mound for the Brew Crew is Fred Holdsworth, former Detroit Tiger draft pick. He is making his 12th start for the Brewers. 3-6 and six with a 4.73 ERA, 37 Ks in 64 innings pitched. Opponents are batting 317 against him. He was not even in the majors. Uh, he wasn't even in baseball in 1983. As you can see here, he was on a, a minor league uh, team. I believe that is the Mariners minor league team. I could be wrong about that. His fastball tops out at 90 miles an hour. He is a ground ball pitcher, 46.5%. His changeup is his out pitch, rated an 80. A couple other pitches below average. Overall is rated an 80. And uh, he is 30 years old, goes to arbitration uh, at the end of this season. Not happy. He will sign with whoever offers him the most money hey welcome to the rest of us okay let's uh take a look at the brewers defense today i don't think they have any gold glovers they don't but they do have charlie moore behind the plate and moore is rated an 84 arm here's sweet lou leading off against fred holdsworth whitaker leads off the ball game with a free pass so the leadoff man is on. Here is Ricky Henderson. Henderson 0 for 4 with two Ks against Fred Holdsworth. Ground ball to first. That's hard hit. The only play is to step on the bag. Whitaker um, maybe could have got two on that, but Whitaker made it uh, uh, an easy option just for the first baseman to step on the bag. So one down, runner on second. And Gibby up with a base hit through the left side. Tigers, just like that, take the early lead one to nothing. 
we are going to hit and run. I was considering stealing, but I like the way Hatcher's been hitting lately. Among the league leaders, ground ball to second. Gibson will advance. Two outs and a runner in scoring position for Murray. Murray pulls it to first, and Scooby steps on the bag. So the Tigers get one. We go to the bottom of the first. Here is the lineup rundown for the Brew Crew. Batting leadoff, playing center field, is Mike Felder. Batting second, playing third base, is Randy Reddy. Batting third, playing second base, is Paul Molitor. Batting cleanup at first base is Bob Scooby. Batting fifth in right field is Alan Cockrell. Batting sixth in DHing is Randy Azador. Batting seventh in left field is Doug Lohman. Batting eighth in catching is Charlie Moore. And batting ninth, playing shortstop, is Ed Romero. Here's Brian Kelly. I feel pretty good about Brian Kelly. He's making his third start, 2-0 with a 2.66 ERA. 10 Ks and 20 innings pitched. He's keeping his uh, walks down so far this season. Uh, opponents are batting 178 against him. He's got a 92 mile an hour fastball. The ground, uh, ground ball percentage is 48.8%. His changeup, that is his best pitch. It's rated a 94. He's got a uh, below average fastball and slider. Overall, he's rated an 88. He's 24, and he doesn't go to arbitration until 1985. Uh, has he faced Milwaukee? He did face Milwaukee in long relief. He threw two innings, giving up three runs on four hits in his first appearance of the season, and uh, has not faced him since. So he's looking to exact a little revenge today. Here's the Tigers' defense. Of course, we got Gold Glovers, first, second, left field. And Mike Felder leading off against Brian Kelly. Felder took over for uh, Chet Lemon out there in center field. He's batting 289 with no home runs so far this year. Long fly out to right field where Bass makes the play. One down. Next up is Randy Reddy who eats a base hit into center field just past Trammell. Runner on first. Here's Paul Molitor, future Hall of Famer. Ground ball, base hit past Whitaker. Where's our range today? Back-to-back -back singles. It's first and second with one out. Here's Bob Scooby at the plate. And that's going to Drop in, a little duck snort for a base hit, and the game is tied. Three straight singles. We're going to pull the infield in, try to prevent any more runs from being scored. There's a strike out of Cockrell for out number two. And that's going to bring up the team leader in home runs, Randy Azador. He's got eight. Batting 267. Playing straight away. And Azador pops it up. Plays made in foul ground by our first baseman, Eddie Murray. We go to the top of the second. Brewers tie it up at one. We've got Trammell, Bass, and Lemon do up. Here's Trammell. Fly ball to center field. And it falls in for a hit right in front of the uh, center fielder. Mike Felder, do we want to go for two? No, we don't. Actually, Doug Lohman is the one that made the play. So we're going to keep Trammell to a single. And we're going to let Kevin Bass uh, hit and run. Look, so, I mean, Bass has got power. He can hit and run. He's got speed. He does not walk. That is the one thing that he does not do well. And hopefully that extra seasoning in the uh, AAA this year will pay off. There's a base hit to right. Trammell goes to third. First and third with nobody out. And here's Chet Lemon facing his old teammate, 
Fred Holsworth. Let's get some revenge here. Line drive to left. That will get a run in. A sack fly as Tremel breaks the tie. It's now two to one. We oh wow, uh, st only sixty nine percent chance for Bass to steal second. That doesn't feel good. Well, Kennedy is scorching at the plate right now. We're gonna let him take a cut here. Ground ball, base hit into right field. We may never see Parrish again. Bass has to hold at second. All right, so one uh, first and second with one out and Sweet Lou at the plate. Lou's only one for seven with that leadoff walk. And a base hit the right field. Bass will score. Oh wait, not, that's not a guarantee. We're gonna send him though. And Bass is safe at home. There we go, three to one Detroit. Holdsworth has given up five hits and a walk in one and a third innings. Only 30 pitches though. So first and second, one down. Here's Ricky, and Ricky strikes out. That's the second out. Here's Gibby. Gibby batting 271. I like him in the three hole. Although he grounds out to second, Molitor makes the play. We go to the bottom of the second inning. Three to one, Detroit. Bottom third of the lineup. Starting with Doug Lohman, the lefty, batting 199 with four home runs. Lohman grounds out to Trammell, one down. Here's Charlie Moore getting the uh, spot start today. Dave Sachs is usually their catcher. Base hit into center field, and Moore is on first. One down for Ed Romero, number nine hitter. Romero, ground ball to short, can we turn two? Now we just get the catcher at second. That's two down, back to the top of the lineup for Mike Felder. See, now I see he's on the Canadians as well, so maybe uh, the Vancouver Canadians is the uh, AAA team for the Brewers. I guess that makes sense. Two down for Mike Felder. Is that an infield single to first? It is. That is five hits now against Brian Kelly. So he's not pitching particularly well. Although those were all infield singles, a couple bleeders. It's not like he's been getting um, tore up either. Not a lot of hard contact. And there's a ground ball to short. I'm sorry, to Whitaker at second. And that'll do it. We go to the top of the third. Mickey Hatcher leading off. And Hatcher crushes it! Whoa, he hit it up there where uh, Bernie Brewer roosts. That is a 416 foot home run. Hatcher's sixth on the season. And it's four to one Detroit. Brewers will definitely cure what ails you. They don't have a lot of uh, good pitching. Uh, Tom Candiotti, who's been out for a while, comes back today. So we may see him tomorrow. I don't know what the rotation looks like uh, just yet. Trammell strikes out after Murray's fly out to left. And here's Kevin Bass. He had a base hit first time up. And a ground ball to short. Romero throws him out. So... Tigers put another run on the board. It's four to one. Here's Paul Molitor. Molitor off to a really slow start. He's batting 240. Um, three home runs. He had 25 dongs last year with 95 RBI. And uh, what, like, oh, what is that? 130 points below his career OPS right now. Okay, here's Paul. Ground ball to short. One down. Next up is Bob Scooby. Ground ball to short. Back to back grounders to Trammell. He takes care of the biz. 
And then a pop-up from Cockrell right on the third base chalk line. Hatcher makes the catch. We go to the top of the fourth. Fred Holdsworth is only at 51 pitches, but he's been in trouble every inning. Here's Chet Lemon. He had a sack fly first time up. Ground ball in the hole. Good range by Romero. One out. Here's Terry Kennedy. He keeps hitting like this. We've got to move him up in the lineup. Lining out to right. Two quick outs for Holdsworth. Back to the top of the lineup with Lou. Third time through the lineup already. And Lou pops it up into foul ground. Play is made by Moore. Let's head to the bottom of the fourth. Randy Azador leading off. It's Azador, Loman, and Moore. That was a ball for it. It's just up out of the zone there. First walk for Kelly. Walks are his problem. Um, although he's been doing well this year. Strikes out Doug Loman. This guy with a 92 mile an hour fastball, he should be striking out everybody. He just doesn't seem to have that kind of a pitch. As Azador steals second base. Third on the season. He had four all of last year. So Randy Azador in scoring position for Charlie Moore. Moore pops it up. Whitaker camps under it. Two down. And that's going to bring up Ed Romero. We're going to pull the outfield in. He's got no power. So we're not worried about him hitting it over the heads. Ground ball to second. And Whitaker boots it. Unbelievable. That's frustrating. Um, okay, so will Mike Felder keep it going here? We're going to play straight away now. Um, I mean, a base hit, Azador is going to score anyway. Here we go. Ground ball to third. Come on, Hatcher. There we go. Sticky Mickey makes the play. We go to the top of the fifth. 4-1 to Detroit with Ricky Henderson leading off. Henderson just cannot hit Holdsworth for whatever reason as he now goes to 0-7 in his career. He took a lot of pitches there. So uh, he did his part. And then Gibby gets a base hit to right. Do we want to go for two? A 50-50 chance, which is like 10% chance. So we're going to say no. But we will try to steal second base this time with Gibby. Here we go. Gibson on first. He's got good speed. Curveball, and Gibson is safe at second. That is his fifth stolen base on the year. Kind of behind last year's pace a little bit, right? We're at game 50 today. The season is moving along. So Gibson in scoring position for Mickey Hatcher. And a base into center field. Gibson scores. Another RBI for Hatcher. That is his team leading 37th RBI. One down for Eddie Murray. Murray strikes out. Three Ks for Holdsworth. And now Trammell will look to get a two-out rally started, and he pops it up on the infield. Play is made by the third baseman, uh, Red, Randy Reddy. Okay, and here he is at the plate. We go to the bottom of the fifth inning. Five to one. Randy Reddy leading off, and Kelly just yaks it. For a walk. Wasn't even close. Okay, we need to get Kelly through this inning. He's only throwing 55 pitches. There's Paul Molitor. I don't know what the hell that was, but uh, Randy Reddy is caught stealing second base. He's now 
0 for 2 on the season. And Kennedy, um, he is just throwing everybody out. It says 40%, but it feels like a lot more than that. So the bases are empty as Paul Mulder has a 1-0 count. And he gaps it all the way to the wall in right center field. He holds at a double, though. That is his 10th double on the season. And that base runner getting thrown out at second. Crucial. Scooby strikes out. Three Ks for Kelly. That's going to bring up Alan Cockrell. Was he the rookie of the year? Yes, he was. He was rookie of the year last year at age 19. <laughs> He had 25 home runs and 91 ribbies. A 7.52 OPS is fair. Only batting 217 with three home runs, so he's having a sophomore slump as he gets a base hit to score Molitor. And it's 5-2 Detroit. So two down, here's Randy Azador. And Azador gets an infield single. That is eight hits against Kelly. And a lefty at the plate. One swing of the bat could tie it up. I have no idea what to do here, but we're gonna we're not gonna guard the line. Uh, I think we're gonna play straight away. One two count to Lowman, and he strikes him out. Low and inside. I don't know what pitch that was, but uh, gets the job done. That was his fourth K on the day. We go to the top of the six. Let's take a look at the in game. Stats. Uh, player of the game, probably Hatcher. He had the home run and the RBI single. Uh, Gibby having a good day, too. Two for three. So, Holdsworth still in there as Kevin Bass will lead off. Kevin Bass was a Milwaukee Brewer. That's how we got uh, him, was from the Brew Crew. Popping it up to second. There's one down. Chet Lemon up next, and he slices it to right for a base hit. We need him to get going. Yeah, we're going for two. Get All right, Lemon is safe at second. That was a 60% chance, and we took it. Uh, it's his fourth double as a Tiger, 11th overall this year. He is in scoring position now for Terry Kennedy. Let's get that run back. Base hit ought to get it done. A walk, though, will bring up Lou and uh, set up a potential double play. Oh, they're going to bring in a reliever. It's former Tiger Pat Underwood. That's who we gave away for uh, Kevin Bass. This is his ninth game. He's 1-0 with a 342 ERA, 13 Ks in 23 and two-thirds innings. Pots are batting 290. He does have a save. He's kind of like their left-handed closer. He's kind of like their version of uh, Dave Rucker. His fastball tops out at 92 miles an hour. He is a ground ball pitcher, 45%. His fastball is his best pitch. He's only got two pitches. Fastball is an 87, a curve at 72. Overall rated an 81. Pretty solid lefty. He goes to arbitration uh, this season. I like Pat Underwood. Kind of miss him. Here is a sweet Lou. Lou hits lefties well, batting 317 versus left handers. And Lou strikes out of that sweeping curve. And this is the guy you want up against the lefty. You want Ricky Henderson in there. 370 average, 493 on base percentage, and almost a 600 slugging percentage. Yes, a base hit the right. Lemon scores. Kennedy the third, and it's 6 to 2, Detroit. We do get that run back. And that leads to Gibby, who cannot hit lefties to save his life. 0 2 count. And he strikes out. <laughs> he just. We're going to have to get him some contacts or something. We go to the bottom of the sixth inning. It's 6 to 2, Detroit. Okay. Uh, we got a couple righties coming up. We're going to let Kelly uh, take it one batter at a time here. There's Charlie Moore. He's one for two today. And he walks him. Third walk on the day. That's a bad start. Here's Ed Romero. 
And a base hit. Okay. I tried. We are going to bring in Roy Thomas. Now we're missing Weaver. And I guess our other... Well, I guess... I mean, Uger, um Going down to the minors forced Filer back into the starting position. So... Like we're going to go with Roy Thomas here. This is where we might normally go to Dave Smith if we had all of our players. We're going to go with Roy Thomas, who's uh, making his fourth appearance of the year. One and two third innings. He's been good. He did blow a save, though. All right, here we go. We can't let this get away from us here. Let's just pitch to the batter. Ground ball to second. Let's turn two. No. Too slow of a ground ball. The only play was the first. And a base hit could make it interesting. So we will pull the outfield in with Randy Reddy up. He's got a little bit of power. A comebacker to Thomas. Everybody holds. And now the Tigers have a chance to get out of this jam. They're going to have to get past Paul Molitor, though. He's betting 226. Versus right, he's at his on base percentage is sub 300. Ground ball to first. Come on, Murray. The gold glover makes the play. No harm done. We go to the top of the seventh inning. Underwood remains in the game. It's Murray. I'm sorry, Hatcher, Murray, and Trammell do up. Here's Hatcher. He's already got a dong today. And there's hit number three. Base hit into center field. Hatcher's having a game. Next up is Eddie Murray. 0 for 5 in his career against Underwood. Not anymore. Two-run shot to right field. And it's 8 to 2. Detroit. And uh, that is his new team leading 10th home run. Where was this guy last year? Look at his numbers. And 50 less at bats. He's got the same amount of hits. And 8 more home runs. And 14 more RBI, and, you know, you can do the math here. Uh, but his OPS at 837 is uh, remarkable. <laughs> he was basically a middle infielder last year with his stats. Okay, 8-2 to two Detroit. We've only not scored in one inning. That was the fourth inning. Here's Trammell. Trammell, ground ball to short. I'm sorry, to third. Here's one down. Here's Kevin Bass. Bass one for three on the day. Every Tiger's got a hit today. And Bass has two. Oh, it's going to be caught. <laughs> My bad. Cockrell comes out of nowhere and makes a sliding catch. For out number two. Let's see if Lemon can get a hit. He does. He drops it into left field. That is his second hit. We need Lemon so bad. To uh, turn it on now that we've given away Dawson. Two outs. And uh, Terry Kennedy's first uh, appearance versus a lefty this year. And he strikes out on a high fastball. We are going to the bottom of the seventh inning. We're going to take out Trammell. And bring in Doug Baker. And... Um, we are going to put Greg Brock in there at first. Okay. Just get some PT for some of these other players. Um, and really, uh, Baker, the same as Trammell defensively at shortstop. We've got one lefty two ready. So we're going to let uh, Roy Thomas go another inning here. Um, they're used to using up our bullpen. Uh, well, unless we have to, as he walks, Bob Scooby. Scooby, is some, uh, Scooby sometimes leads off for the Brewers because he does take a lot of pitches. Runner on first. Get his cockroach. Ground ball to third. They get the force out at second. Cockroach safe at first. So, so one down. Randy Azador up next. And Azador pulls it into left. Play is made by Henderson. Good job by Ricky. Two down for Doug Lohman. And Lohman 
Hits a grounder to Baker. And Baker throws him out. We're looking pretty good in all facets today so far. We go to the top of the eighth inning. Here is Sweet Lou leading off. He's one for three with a ribby. And there's another hit. 14 hits for the Tigers today. Do we want to go for two? No, we do not. That will bring up Ricky Henderson. One for four. He's two for two in his career versus Pat Underwood. Goes down, gets that one, pulls it, though, to short. Whitaker, again, hustling into second base. The only play was the first. And now we've got Gibson. I just feel bad letting him bat versus lefties because you know he's gonna, it's only going to hurt his average. Here we go. <laughs> I mean, he's so terrible. That's unbelievable. Come on. Give the guy a break. He's two for five on the day. Here's Hatcher. Hatcher just will not be denied. He's three for four with a home run. A couple of ribbies. And he's going to pop it up here into shallow right field. Second baseman Molitor makes the play. We're going to the bottom of the eighth inning. Let's take out Roy Thomas. Great job by him. We're going to bring in Carl Willis. This is his second career appearance. We saw him against the Yankees. He went an inning for his major league debut. Future Tigers pitching coach. And uh, represented there in the card by the uh, Cincinnati Reds. Pretty good pitcher. And Charlie Moore leading off against Carl Willis. Ground ball to first. Brock makes the play. One out. Romero sharply hit the first. Back-to-back -back plays for Greg Brock. Two quick outs, and we're back to the top of the lineup with Mike Felder, who pops it straight up. And it's dropped! Oh, come on! Kennedy makes the error. The second Tigers error today. Now we have a six-run lead. Uh, but that's unnecessary. Come on. Brown ball to second. Whitaker makes the play. We're going to the ninth inning. Pat Underwood looking to finish off the ball game. He's got uh, Greg Brock to start and then a couple switch hitters. Brock rips it into right field. There's one down. Here's Doug Baker. He's got a hit this season. And... He gets it into the gap all the way to right center field. Hell yeah, we're going for three. Doug Baker has himself his first career triple. Nicely done. Look at his uh, career stat line. He's basically been a pinch runner. Um, got a couple walks. I mean, sorry, Guy Solars, but your career as a Tiger might be over. Runner on third. Here's Kevin Bass. Let's just take a nice easy sack fly here. Our base hit up the middle. Big hit Bass will give you more than you ask for. 9-2 to Detroit. I'd love to have Bass steal right now, but we're up 7 in the ninth inning. That's just wrong. Chet Lemon up next. He's got a couple hits against his old team, and he drops in another hit. A little duck snort. We're sending the runner to third. Kevin Bass coasts into third base. It is first and third with one down. And Terry Kennedy still looking for his first hit versus a lefty. Ground ball to third. That should be around the horn. Double play. It is. 5-4-3 double play. We go to the bottom of the ninth inning. We're going to keep Carl Willis in there to close this baby out. Molitor, Scooby, and Cockrell are due up. Ah, the base hit for Molitor. Leading off the ninth. Ten hits for Milwaukee. Up next is Bob Scooby, and he's going to double into the gap. Will that score a run? Molitor holds it third. That makes sense. You're down seven. Second and third. Nobody out. 
All right. Carl Willis pulls on the big boy pants, strikes out Alan Cockrell. One down, let's get it. Randy Azador right here. Ground ball to short. That'll score Molitor. Oh, Molitor, why wasn't he going? We didn't even pull in the infield. That is stupid. I don't get it. And then a line drive to short. That's the ball game. What a weird ending as the Tigers win 9-2. to Handshakes, butt slaps, cheesesteaks. Because they're, you know, in Milwaukee, cheese. Not Philadelphia. Damn it, that doesn't make any sense. My bad. Tigers win 9-2. <laughs> Let's take a look at the standings. Oh, man, we've won four in a row. Uh, New York wins. Boston falls to 10 and a half back with Baltimore. We're on a good stretch here. I sure can't wait to see how uh, Joaquin Andahar pitches for us. We have the best record in baseball. As you take a look at the National League, Atlanta's won three in a row since their trades. And uh, New York still maintains a two-game lead over the Cubbies. Let's take a look at headline news. McGregor out for five weeks. A Baltimore pitcher get injured? What? That never happens. He's going to be out for uh, five weeks. Um, might have some permanent damage due to the injury. What kind of injury? They, 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 they won't, I don't know. They won't even say. Uh, good, good investigative journalism. Um, yeah, yeah. So he's going to be out. Uh, that's it. Okay, well, let's take a look at the transactions. We know there's an injury. Yeah, that's it. Gray, uh, Scott McGregor. Out for five weeks, a ruptured knee. This is a violent sport. We have more knee injuries than the NFL. Uh, out of curiosity, who did the um, Orioles put in the rotation? I wonder if they put Jim Palmer back in there. He's um, rated like in the 60s. Nope, they skip right over a Hall of Famer. And they go with uh, Randy O'Neill, who we traded over there. Um, so yeah, they've got three... Well, they got two good pitchers in the minors. Mike Boddicker, who never stays healthy, and Scott McGregor. All right, let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Who's the player of the game? Is it Chet Lemon? He had three hits against his old team. Nah, we know it's Mickey Hatcher. Hatcher absolutely crushed it today. A couple of big hits, including the home run. That was... Technically, there's no game-winning RBI. Um... Brian Kelly didn't great. Give up nine hits and three walks, but he goes to three and zero on the year. Good job by a couple of uh, scrubs from AAA uh, in the bullpen. We we we've, we always have a pretty decent bullpen. The uh, Brewers had a couple of extra base hits. Fred Holdsworth falls to three and seven on the year. Pat Underwood uh, comes in does some yeoman's work there. Three and two thirds innings. That's going to do it. We're going to come back tomorrow with game two of the three-game series. Until then, everyone, have a great night.